All right, so uh, game one, the Mario style, Doggy Diamond. You created this already, and you want to move on to game two. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to do uh, soccer. We teach you how to create a soccer game just with one player, so you'll be playing against an AI. I do have a game created where you can play two players, uh, so you can have one person on uh, the same computer. Um, so if you want to learn how to do that, I do have this here, Soccer Pong 2 Player Versus, um, underneath my account. But today, we're going to show you how to make Soccer Pong Player Version. So this is what it will look like when it's all said and done. Ah, I'm a little rusty. It's been a couple months. <laughs> All right, you get the point. All right, um, I was having a little trouble finding a way to make the AI follow the ball and still hit it over to the right. Um, but if you, as you see, is um, I have this. I have the goalie going up and down. Um, I have the ball created it from scratch, so it's not a perfect sphere uh, but it does get the, the job done uh, so when you're creating the game you can modify and amend as you see fit but I will give you the basics uh, on how to create okay all right so let's go ahead and create a new game so you're gonna go up my games Create a new game. Since this is the second game in the series, I'm going to move a little faster than I did the first time. All right, make sure that you click on Empty Project, not Flow Lab Tutorial. All right, here we go. We got the settings. Go ahead and rename this uh, Soccer, or um, if you're. Um, doing going to make a modification you know you can rename it whatever you want so go ahead and do soccer here and i'm going to go ahead and make that longer probably about 25 you can make this however long you want uh, actually since we're doing this just uh one full field i'm actually going to make this 32 i'm going to make it as long as i can and i think the height to kind of cover up my screen here I'll go ahead and make that 17. Uh, my gravity uh, for the x-axis at zero, gravity for the y-axis at 45. Advanced, that can, that can uh, stay the same. So I'm good there. Hit OK. Next, we're going to go ahead and change the color. So click game levels at the bottom. And as you see, it's white. Let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to go ahead and keep mine, you know, kind of a greenish, same, similar to a soccer field. So I choose any color here. If you want to, you don't have to keep it green, of course. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Yep, that's fine. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and create the wall and base. So I'm going to just click in here to create a new sprite. And go ahead and just call that wall. And let's go ahead and click on Edit Sprite. So that I can color you can uh, right now I have a bunch of little grids here right so if I'm gonna recolor all that that might take me a while so I'm gonna go ahead and make that bigger yep make it to an 8 that way I can color this pretty pretty quickly so I'm gonna go ahead and modify I got the green background so mm, maybe I just do this and make the inside a brown go ahead and click OK go over to physics and I have is solid and everything else looks good here so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK move that click on it clone I want to clone it all the way up and again you can choose any sort of color scheme that you want 
you can pause the video while you create and then come back to the video when you're done go ahead and leave that like that that looks good click done cloning okay next I am going to create my field my state wall to my field I'm gonna go ahead and click on the inside click create and uh, maybe I'm just gonna call this inside wall you know you can name it whatever you want uh, my physics okay good I got is solid so that looks good and now I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, a white with a black bottom trim okay so this is gonna be my bottom wall right because I, I mean you can create it make it white all the way around or whatever you want to do but I made mine a white wall with a black trim so I'm gonna go ahead and color that and I'm gonna color that bottom black I'm gonna click OK and inside wall I'm gonna actually call this a bottom that way I know that this sprite is for the bottom and I need to move that over uh, that should be good go ahead and clone move that over okay now I'm going to do the same thing for the top so I click create uh, go ahead and just top wall again physics looking good and I'm going to color so now I'm going to create white but then with the black top and I'm going to go ahead and click OK sorry my recording button is in the way that's good and click OK clone whoops make that go all the way across I'm just holding down the left trigger while I do that and go ahead and click done cloning and move that up move that up go ahead and delete that all right so now I have as you see you have the um, the sides are open so I'm gonna have to create the sides now all right I have my uh, right corner here so I'm just gonna go ahead and click and I have to make a sprite so it's going to be uh, bottom right corner got the white on the inside and I've got the black on the outside okay so that looks good and I'm going to do this corner up top upper right corner upper right so I have to do I believe this yep that's good now I gotta do the upper left hand corner edit sprite uh, let's see what am I doing All right, that's good. See, I've, I've created that edge there, and I got one more. Bottom left. Uh, that's not right. There we go. All right, next we're gonna make the right side of our wall. If you notice, we kept all this separate because we are going to make the left and right components, wall components, interactive. Whenever the ball hits these walls, uh, you'll get a point or the computer will get a point. And then also when the ball hits it, it will reset the game. So it's very important to keep these separate from all the others because if not, then uh, every time the ball hits any part of this wall uh, it'll reset everything which we don't want so I'm gonna go ahead and create another sprite all right I'm gonna go ahead and create the right side of my wall 
rename that just right wall. We got the back black, whoops. Click OK. Go ahead and clone that. Done cloning. And now create the left wall. Rename that left wall. Edit my sprite. Back is black. And the rest is white. Now we're going to go ahead and change the behaviors later after we have our characters built and we'll add uh, all the different messages and collisions and animations uh, that need to happen there. So I hit OK, hit Clone. Done cloning. All right, now we're starting to look a little bit like a soccer arena. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and create a little inside, I guess, edge for my uh, goalie. Uh, computer goalie to just kind of bounce back and forth so uh, that looks about good rename this edge or whatever you want to rename it now I, I have these big blocks but I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit um, that black line a little bit smaller so let's see let's go ahead and And again, you can color it however, however you want. Okay, and uh, maybe I need to back that up. That's good. Mm, I think it was all right there. And actually, I think I might want that line a little thinner. So I'm actually going to go and make that white. That way I get a nice thin line. And again, you can modify however you want. Sorry, the recording button's in the way of the OK button. Oh, that's kind of a pain. Sorry. There we go. All right, yeah, that's got a thinner line. Go ahead and clone that. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough space for the ball to get through. Might. If I need to make that larger, I can. But for right now, just so that you have a, an area for uh, your 